Example WFB, so a continuation of WFA. The volume of liquid in the reactor is a constant 0.25 meters cubed, quarter of a meter cubed. Initially, the concentration of H plus is 0.1 moles per liter, and the flow of pure water is as in the previous example, WFA. Here we're to write an equation for the pH of the liquid in the reactor as a function of time. Now, if we were just looking for concentration, we could change this to any unit we want. But because we're going to be looking for pH, pH is minus log of the concentration in moles per liter. So we need to have liters, and that is why in our previous example, we moved everything into liters per second. And if you recall, we had the flow of pure water as a function of time was an exponentially decreasing function, A times E to the minus KT, and this is what we'll be using until we get to the very end, and this we had in liters per second, and we found that A was equal to 0 0.2777, seven, as many sevens as we wanted, eight, and K was equal to 4.6 times 10 to the minus 4. So now we're going to start solving this problem. We're going to use the general form for phi, and in the end, when we work out the specifics, we will substitute A equal to this and K equal to this. What does this problem require? It requires flow and concentration. What do we know about flow and concentration? We know flow in times concentration in minus flow out times concentration out is equal to the volume times the change in concentration over time. So this is our differential equation, right? Uh, what do we have here? We have the concentration going in because it's pure water is zero. So C going in is zero because we have pure water. And what else do we know? We know that phi going in equals phi going out. Why? Because the volume is constant. So this was pure water here. Volume constant. And we are going to solve this in rather general terms. So we're going to say that phi going in, we're not going to use the a and k until we get there, is a e to the minus kt. And the last thing we need to notice is although this will give us the concentration, we actually need a function of, for pH. So we will get c equal to c of t from our when we solve the differential equation, but we actually need pH of t, which is now because we're working in liters, and will be minus log of c of t. So this is what we're going to need to use in the end. So putting all this, putting all this stuff together, what do we have? We have a differential equation that says zero, that's right here, minus a e to the minus k t times c, remember that this is a function, so we'll write it out, c of t equals, a v volume is constant here, d of c of t dt. And this is a separable differential equation, why? Because this is all, all by itself t, so I can multiply it by dt, and this is all by itself c, so I can divide it to get dc over c. So I would have minus a e to the minus k t times dt equals v times dc over c. c is playing the role of y, and t is playing the role of x here. This is separable, let's integrate. So integrating, pull out the constants here, we have minus a 
the integral of e to the minus kt dt is 1 over minus k, the constant, e to the minus kt. Over here we have the constant v times ln of c, and then we have our constant of integration, c prime, we're going to call it. Really odd looking letter, c prime. Okay, let's divide by v. So we have a over k times v e to the minus kt equals, so we're dividing by v, ln of c, and we're dividing that arbitrary constant by v, so we'll just write c double prime. And now we want to use, so our idea is to find this using our initial condition. Except again, we're going to keep it general until the very end. So anyway, what does that mean? At t equal to 0, that's initially, c of t equal to 0 is c0. And in our case, it is 0 0.1 mole per liter. We're going to use this now. And when we get to the end of the problem, we're going to substitute this. So what does that mean? That means that we have A over K V E to the minus K times zero, T equal to zero, equals LN. And the idea is this is the function, C of zero here, plus C double prime, which we're so solving for. So this is right here is what we're writing C0. So how much is C double prime for initial condition? It's, this is 1, so A over KV minus LN of C0. So this is our initial condition. And so what do we get for our final differential, final integral? Um, we get A over KV e to the minus kt equals ln of c, remember this is the function, c of t, we'll just write it again, plus a over kv, now we're here, minus ln of c0. Okay, so that is our solution to that differential equation. If we were looking for c of t, we would solve for c of t. Unfortunately, we're looking for ph. So we have to organize a bit better.